You nervous about the fight? They're scared to death. You don't look scared? Well, you ain't supposed to. Ever since Prince Humperdinck fired him, his confidence is shattered. Think positive. Okay. I'm positive you will get lost in there. What was that? Was it a bear? There are no bears in San Francisco. I saw a really hairy guy. He looked like a bear. You can't focus on what's going wrong. There's always a way to turn things around. Who's the birthday girl? <laughs> Oh, sorry, didn't see you were there. I'm Mark Lanier, happy Wisdom Wednesday. I wanna to talk to you right now about doubt, worry, anxiety, that feeling of impending doom that sometimes enters into our mind because there are things we just can't seem to control. There are roads that we cannot see where they go and how they will end. There are problems that we have in this life that cause us to worry and cause us to doubt. How do we handle that as believers? Well, the, the answer is not a difficult one. The answer is rooted in the reality that there is a God who knows us, who cares about us, who knows what your name is, who knows what you need, and who has committed himself to the good of his children. What does that mean for you and me? I like the words that Paul used when he wrote to the church in Philippi. He told them, be worried in nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication or, or asking God with thanksgiving, which means a confidence God will answer the prayer. Let your requests be made known to God, he said, and then he's got this tagline, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now, that's what we want. We want a peace that's beyond something we can understand to protect and guard our hearts when we're nervous, anxious, worried, uh, in doubt, in fear. That peace is found in Christ Jesus. So we prayerfully come to God through Christ, remembering who God is and the love he's shown us in Christ, and we can walk away from that with thanksgiving in our heart, knowing that God is not going to let us go. Even if we have to walk through whatever it is we fear, doubt, and worry, we can walk through it in confidence that God's walking through it with us. And he will work everything out for good. So when you've got fear, when you've got worry, when you've got doubt, get on your knees and pray to the Lord and thank him for the deliverance that will come in Christ. Meanwhile, I've got a few other things to worry about, so I'll see you on another Wisdom Wednesday.